Hey everyone, I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how I make my sticker collages. I have lots of tips and tricks. There's definitely a method to the way I work. But before I start, I just want to say that the first time I ever saw a sticker collage was on this Instagram. Uh, Four Bears, really great, it inspired me and I have not stopped since. So credit to them for inspiring me and now I want to inspire and show you. So let's get started. First, you'll need a stencil. I'm cutting one out with my Cricut. If you don't have a cutting machine, you could definitely use a big stencil from Michaels for this too. If you are using a cutting machine, I suggest using a color besides white so that it's extra easy to see. Layering the stencil on top and gently taping it down so there's no sliding. I'm gonna be using pip stickers for this collage today. They are my absolute favorite. I have tons of pip stickers unboxings if you wanna check them out. Uh, so stickers with a clear sheet are best for collages and you can see why right now. It's sort of like a puzzle. I'm trying to see where the sticker would fit best. I'm only able to do that though because of the clear sheet. And once I find the perfect spot, I put it down. So my method from here on is you want to focus on the perimeter of the stencil. As you can see, my giraffe fit perfectly right there. And it's kind of fun taking out sheets and measuring and playing to see which sticker fits best where. If there is a specific sticker that you feel you must use, like this one for example, I suggest adhering it down in the very beginning and somewhere in the middle of your image so that you can work around it. As you can see, stickers with flat edges fit perfectly on the outside and you wanna stay as close to the edge as possible. That way it will look super crisp and clean. Now that we're in the middle here, I'm using some crayon stickers because they fit perfectly. Now I filled more in off camera, uh, but as you can see, there are still so many spaces. And now here is when your tiniest stickers come into play. These are what we need because they are filler stickers. So yes, you guessed it. Anywhere you see a big enough space, add a mini sticker there. You wanna fill any and all gaps. I use a tweezer for this and it's very helpful to take the sticker off the page. I'm also choosing to not fill the antenna. Anyway, here is what my completely filled in butterfly looks like. And once I remove the tape, here is the reveal. You can see that those little stickers really helped make the image super full. And then here is more of my sticker collage work. I am working on my entire name. I'm going to frame it all when I'm done. Uh, letters are also really fun for kids to do. And then I used the same exact method for the rest of these. Simple as that. So that's basically it. Really easy, really relaxing, and really therapeutic. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I do tons of videos on stickers. I do sticker unboxings, uh, sticker hauls, sticker DIY crafts. So if you're into stickers, like I am, definitely subscribe and like. I do other stuff too, but I'm a sticker lover through and through. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, subscribe to me if you wanna see more, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.